What is up everybody? This is the new tank. I got a free five gallon fish tank from the side of the road and I turned it into this. This yes. is the five gallon okay. dream. The next big step in the evolution of my fish tanks. So this is my third and final fish tank at my current house that I'm living in. And it's, well, at least from the ones that I'll be using and keeping and doing all the work for. My parents might make one, I'm not sure. It's really up to them. But this is the last one I'll be scaping and getting to do all the fun stuff with, with besides maintenance and all that, which is always a joy to do as well. So here we have the five gallon dream. I named it dream because it's going to be carrying mostly nano fish and shrimp. So what I'm going to be putting in here, stocking ideas, is chili rasboras and some sort of shrimp, either cherry shrimp or blue velvet shrimp or maybe even just ghost shrimp because they're cheap and you don't have to worry about them. But uh, we have all these new plants going. And you guys, I kind of want to show you guys, I'm sure you guys will be very interested. So here we have a java fern leaf that had some rooting on it. And you can already see new leaves all on the backside coming through and getting all this new growth. As well as we have some new growth on these Anubis that I bought. Uh, this one doesn't look too good because the leaf's up and there's other plants inside of it that must have just fallen loose. And you can see there's all sorts of these weird like floating plant debris. And that's from these bush plants in the back. If I can show you guys them. They're back there. Those were the ones that were dying on me in the last tank. And I pulled them out, threw them in here, and now they seem to be spreading across the tank like a wildfire. Or at least growing up. You can see they're starting to bush up. A couple of them are actually really tall now, which is awesome. And then the java fern in the back is also getting new growth. You can see some new leaves sprouting out. And a lot of the leaves are turning back green to their normal color. And as well as we got some java moss just hanging out in the tank. And then we also have three pieces of lava rock, one stuffed with java moss that I just kind of want to grow over and this like overgrowth over that rock, which I think would look awesome. And uh, yeah, so this is gonna be a shrimp slash cherry or uh, chili resbora tank. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be pretty successful. We got this really nice filter. Oh, shoot. We have this really nice filter that I can control the flow. So we have a really, really light flow. Very, very safe for these tiny little fish that I'm gonna be throwing in here. And nothing but good news about this one and i'm not gonna really show you guys the other ones because they're both doing great um actually i'll show you the 10 gallon real quick um 10 gallon is clearing up finally it is no longer this dark cesspool of tannis uh what we do have is a little bit of a snail problem coming in but that's uh, that was expected uh, we got all of our fish still alive and well, our little African door frog doing his thing, and we got the two shrimp, one of them just molted recently actually, which was one of the craziest things that I've ever seen. I've never seen a shrimp molt before, and now that I've seen it, uh, it scared the hell out of me honestly. I was very nervous because it was not something I knew that would happen. I'm just making sure my frog can eat the shrimp. The little African dwarf frog's actually just chilling over here. I don't know if you guys will be able to see him because the tank's so dark, but he's down there somewhere. But yeah, that's the uh, good news. Good news is always good news. Yeah, there are so many snails in here. Oh no, that is an issue. Uh, what we're gonna have to do is probably clip some lettuce to the side and hopefully get a lot of these snails out of here. Because there is, let's count real quick, one, two, three, four, five already, six, seven, eight, oh god, yeah, that's not good, pond snail invasion, guys, um, if you have any tips for that, uh, please comment down below, we're gonna have to get these little hooters out of here, oh, there's seven, <laughs> oh no, I don't know if it's, bad for the fish or not, but we don't want snails. They're gross, honestly. They're not gross, but they're just an annoyance. But if you look, fish still have good colors. Uh, I don't know where the shrimp are right now. They're usually kind of hiding out throughout the day. They're not very uh, active. They're very cool, chill out. And by the way, <laughs> okay, well, stand fell off. Sorry, guys. Um, look how much freaking <laughs> plants, plants. <laughs> It is out of freaking control. The amount of just dwarf water lettuce that we have grown. The Garami loves it, by the way. Look at how happy he is. He's a big showman for the camera. He's constantly swimming over there trying to get attention. You know, 
the typical thing. And at least it looks like they're eating all the moss off the bottom of the log, which is cool. So yeah, that's it everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, beta fish, doing well. Don't matter. Don't need to see it. There's nothing new there. You've seen it already once before, and I'll show you guys again in the future when I make a video all about beta fish. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Love all your faces. Adios.